All right, so let's go ahead and simplify this one. Uh, I'll use the same method that I talked about on that last slide. So I'm going to break 64 up into, uh, I mean, we don't have to use a full factor tree because, again, we're looking for pairs of numbers that multiply together. And 64 specifically breaks up into 8 and 8. And y to the power of 20 splits up into y to the power of 10 and y to the power of 10. So I can rewrite this as the square root of 8 times 8 times y to the power of 10 times y to the power of 10. And again, I can break this up into the square root of 8 times 8 times the square root of y to the power of 10 times y to the power of 10. Again, not that everyone needs all these steps, okay? But at this point, the square root of 8 times 8, so this is my pair, 8. I got a pair of 8s, so it's no longer the square root of 8 times 8. It's just the square root of 8. And we're going to multiply this by, here's a pair of y to the power of 10s. And that looks pretty simplified to me. If you're confused about that y to the power of 20, another way to look at this is we could break this as the square, uh, square root of 64 times the square root of y to the power of 20. And y to the power of 20, the square root of that would be like y to the power of 20 to the 1 half, which is kind of what we did last, last week. And 20 times 1 half would give you that, that 10 right there. I, I don't know if that